Thanks for tuning in to this latest video weather briefing update. This is issued December 20th. We're going to talk about the active weather expected for the end of December, which impacts the holiday Christmas week. Here's a look at the impact table, and we are expecting two rounds of significant precipitation, one on Monday and then another one on Wednesday into Thursday. So that'll be the main impact. We are expecting some significant winds across the mountains and desert slopes developing on Sunday. Now, so far this year, the southern portion of California has received the bulk of the precipitation compared to average, where most places are about one to two times above the average for this time this year. Across the northern part of California and the Pacific Northwest, precipitation compared to their normals has been much less, about half as much compared to what they should receive so far. So it's been a very active weather pattern so far, mainly in late November and early December for Southern California. Here are the highlights we're expecting for beginning December 22nd and rounding out the end of the month. Active, progressively stronger weather pattern and cold weather pattern as the first storm carves out the path across Southern California. We expect widespread precipitation on Monday and again on Wednesday, Christmas Day. Just some showery precipitation expected on Christmas Eve, December 24th. Basically three rounds of precipitation expected with the final round possible, even though much uncertainty for right before New Year's Eve. This is a northwest flow pattern, so the jet stream is coming out of the north, so these are relatively cold storms for a drier snowfall, especially over our ski resort level up around 7,000 feet. There is some possibility of merging into some tropical moisture as the northern stream carves all the way into Southern California on Monday and again on Wednesday. Now, we do expect significant accumulation overall for snow and especially for rainfall when you add up the storminess, especially Monday and Wednesday. Moderate confidence with the timing of the impact. There is some uncertainty on Wednesday's storm, but much more confidence on the Monday storm. Here's a look at the weather pattern map. The expected storm number one on Monday will be right over Southern California Monday, and you can see the upstream storm coming in from the north, the northern Pacific, labeled as L2. As we get into Christmas Day Wednesday, the pattern will carve a trough across the west coast, with the bulk of it focused on Southern California as shown here. Now there's one final storm that's way out there, but we did want to give a glimpse that there is some potential, even though much uncertainty for a storm just before New Year's Eve, following a similar track out of the Northern Pacific, diving towards Southern California. Here are the highlights and details. Take some time to look at this. The main rainfall is expected on Monday and Wednesday. So on Monday, we expect um, rain to be widespread. Snow level shown here, generally above 5,000 feet. We are looking at significant rainfall of one to two inches for a lot of places, at least a half inch for all areas. Snowfall of several inches um, and over six inches for the ski resort level on Monday. Just some scattered rain and snow showers on Christmas Eve the 24th, but keep in mind we are expecting widespread rain to develop on Wednesday, Christmas Day. That could linger all the way into Thursday. And snow levels similar, generally hovering between five and 6,000 feet. So we do expect that Wednesday, Thursday storm to carry a pack uh, of snow above 6,500 feet, six to 12 inches exactly for the ski resort level. And we're also expecting several inches down to 5,500 feet. Most areas will see generally one to one and a half inches of rain, a little bit less as you go to the desert slopes. Now for the end of the week, it looks like scattered showers on Friday as that storm system either pulls to the east or and or south. And then uh, the snow levels will start to recover. We are looking at possible rain setting up for right before New Year's Eve, but again, a lot of uncertainty on that storm. Here's a look at the precipitation total through December 26th. So this carries us right through Thursday after Christmas. Widespread, especially along the coast, notice along the coast, widespread rainfall of over an inch with locally some places around two inches of rain. 
and even heavier totals when you get up around LA and northward. We are looking at the first storm and this is a focus of the first storm here which will take us through Monday and Tuesday where widespread precipitation of one to basically one and a half inches and less around a half as you taper off towards the east in the desert. Now the next storm for Christmas Day and Thursday looks to be similar with again widespread half to inch and a half with heaviest near coastal areas and of course along the mountain coastal slopes with that southerly wind flow. Amounts in the desert is a little bit better more around a half inch of rain for the Wednesday Thursday. Here are the highlights again and you can check for updates for any advisories, watches, and warnings at weather.gov San Diego. But moderate to high confidence for the model solutions. The least confidence, of course, is right before New Year's Eve. Progressively stronger and colder weather systems as we go through Thursday right after Christmas. The first storm on Monday really carves the path. We're looking at three separate precipitation episodes, Monday, then Christmas Day, and then possibly right before New Year's Eve. We are expecting elevated surf ahead of these storms and this northwest flow is relatively cold so we do see um, moderate snowfall accumulation and relatively dry snow way up at the ski resort level above 7,000 feet. And we are not looking at any significant atmospheric river but some subtropical moisture could get entrained into these storms as they carve towards the northern Baja on Monday and especially the storm on Wednesday. Stay tuned at weather.gov San Diego or follow us on Twitter and Facebook for the latest updates for this active weather during the holiday week.